hey, hey, boys and girls. Welcome back to Quake 2. As you've noticed, I'm now sitting here instead of there, and the menus are different. I've changed computers, because the as you noticed, as if you watched the last one, it has some audio issues, so I've replayed through the game up to the where I was up to, which was the secret level. Woo. <laughs> and I've dropped the difficulty a little just to speed things along. I mean, I love Quake at any difficulty, but... I just figure you guys don't want to see me die at the same places over and over. But maybe you do. If you want, I'll more than happy to... If anybody wants me to see it, do it on a like a like nightmare, which is the hardest difficulty that... Because I run this uh, freaking... I think it's called a KM Quake 2 patch or something like a patch, which kind of updates the graphics a little. and um, This computer hangs a little more, so there's that. But we'll see how things go. Alright, here we go. Ugh, I've just moved my laptop around. There's more dudes than I remember. Admittedly, I'm running a much newer version of that um, freaking patch. Because I was running on the other one as well. Um, Seeing on the floor, though, with the mouse. Some of the stuff has admittedly changed. They've obviously reorganized things. There's a lot more enemies, even on this medium. Like, I'm not playing hard, I'm just playing medium. And there was more enemies than that I've found so far than when we went up in the hard version. So obviously, in amongst their, you know, retexturing and that kind of stuff, they've rejigged and they've reshuffled the gameplay quite a bit. So, in my previous fucking playthrough... No idea what that sound is. They've obviously rejigged and reshuffled the enemies a lot. Not a lot, but freaking some. I was about to look at my mission. Um, obviously, you know, my secondary objective, which is my main objective for the secret level, which is just obtain a powerful weapon. Which is exciting, isn't it? It's weird as I've played the freaking this game religiously. Like, I've passed it a whole heap of times. So I'm like, on, on all the difficulties, save Nightmare. I've finished. Whoa. Where the hell are you from? You shoot it, and it's like, and it seems like you're just gonna keep uh, activating it. And you're like, all right, I don't know. and then it vanishes. Uh, did you not see in the freaking last patch before they rejig the enemies a lot? There were a heap lot more of those things in all areas. I mean, even in the original unaltered version. You know, there were some of those things down here. But in the freaking patch for the last one, there was a heck of a lot more of those things. So, I like it. I like how they re, you know, jig things. They give you new weapons. And... and almost there. What? What? 
Houston. Yes, the super shotgun. This is the earliest part, as far as I'm aware, aside from cheats. This is the earliest part in either of the games. I hope they've re freaking made the, the elevators a bit more intelligent. That was one thing that really annoyed me in the original Quake 2, um, is that the elevators were stupid! Like, they were just so dumb. Like, there was no way, you know, very few of them had a way you could trigger them. Very few of them had some a way you could trigger the um, elevators. Yes, I know there is a secret under the water, but you spend so much time trying not to freaking drown that I have no point. There's nothing really super in there that I want, except for the bragging right there. Oh, I found a secret, guys! I found a secret. It's a secret. I mean, it's cool if you're going for, like, completionist. <coughs> completionist. I ain't. A super completionist, at least this time. Not. Yes, I didn't hit F1 to go back to the, to see what my new mission was, but my mission was just to return. And, well, I love the freaking sprint function. It means I don't need the rebreather. Just the, I, no, originally you needed the rebreather to get there without drowning, because I didn't think there was any... So freaking low. I don't think there's anything nearby. Oh, is that so? All's well that ends well, I guess. Rare. So yeah, I don't know what that I'll get. I'm hoping two levels per thing. Oh, I should probably save.
if we can walk over here. They freaking come out of nowhere. Oh. Sometimes they get shots off and once you die. Generally I try to take them out before they get there. And sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Which I like how that's kind of unpredictable. I think that's cool. So what he's supposed to do is. Oh, I missed it. I wouldn't have done this, but I was low on health or so inventory. Oh crap! Um, what's the inventory button? My lot in the, the freaking inventory tab. Use item. There, that was an environmental suit, and that is acid. That will kill you so freaking quick. Is that lava? I hate when they fall in freaking either lava or um, acid because they scream and he screams so loudly. Not last one. there. Like this twice recently on freaking different difficulties. You get used to where the freaking uh, yep, I've communicated with the because apparently you're meant to be doing that to get like communication with a satellite or something. Whether the, you know. some of their weapons, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Alright! What was it? Primary objective completed. Locate and exit. Kill over system. Here, where it is my time.
Well, boys and girls, that's all the time I have for today. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye.